Hi there, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to add authentication if you're the admin. So first thing I'm going to do is go into the site administration over here, and then I'm going to go into plugins. Under plugins, I'm going to scroll down until I get to authentication. This is Moodle 3.9.2, and I'm using Fordson theme. Going to click down until I get to notice activity modules. And that's important if you're interested in that. Admin tools, antivirus, authentication. Under authentication, notice I'm going to go to manage. What you see down here is what I have. I have email. I have these, okay, enabled. All right, so let's go there now. Click on manage authentication. Now, the reason I don't allow email-based self-registration which is actually a good thing uh, if you're using it because uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't get any uh, messages for support. All they need to do, and let me scroll down so you can see that, all they need to do is just write uh, help and then add their username if they remember it or their password to be retrieved, and that's it. Really, really easy. So uh, that's the information that's available. You can have, if you're interested, reCAPTCHA, which uh, makes your site safer. But Moodle actually recommends that you disable, notice by default, disable self-registration. But as I said, if you don't want hassles, use self-registration. So here it, uh, there's an explanation. What you need to do is to enable it. So you click on, and notice I've got two options here. I have both self-registration and email-based self-registration with admin, which is also a hassle because it requires you to, um, you know, to confirm or not confirm each user. So self-based, self email-based self-registration. There it goes. That's all you need to do. And then you scroll down, of course, and you save it. Now, let me show you what it looks like when it's on. I'm going to disable it after I show you, okay? Because this is an active Moodle site. All right, so uh, let's uh, log out so you can see it. Okay, so I'm logging out. There's my login page. Notice there are two places to log in. You can either log in here or you can log in there. It's the same. So I'll click on the login, and then I have two options. Actually, I can log in by these services, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, which I really like. And, but I need to add, uh, notice here, I need to add these okay, explanations on how to log in. But I would remove that if I only had create a new account. So when I click on create new account, notice um, the person has to fill in these details. They have to decide on a username, a password, and notice I've got conditions on the password. Then they had to add all of this. I also added extra things for myself. Uh, fill in your profile description, and then they need to choose these. And of course, the reCAPTCHA, which is right here. It's a security question. I'm not a robot. But now Moodle has site agreement, so they need to click on understand and then create. And then the system will uh, allow them to create their accounts. But they need to confirm their emails. And that's where a lot of users get stuck. Uh, which is kind of annoying that they get stuck because this um, forces the admins or support team, if you've got a support team, to deal with it. And it's not very easy to deal with that because you're constantly bombarded with questions. Uh, they don't confirm their emails. It gets timed out. You need to resend it because the system won't do it. And when you resend it, uh, they don't get it. They might go into their spam box. So right now, Moodle is uh, probably the most secure LMS in the world. But there are issues with users who don't really know how to use this kind of system. 
So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to add to the comment box below, and I'll be happy to help and subscribe to my channel. That always makes me feel good. So have a great day and happy moodling.